Today we have a full tutorial on how to create this beautiful and elegant dip resin art flower. Stay tuned! Hey there! Let's go over everything you need for this resin dip flower. You need the resin dip liquid which I found on eBay or there's another brand that I saw on Etsy which I will link below. UV resin some pigment powders or paste or whatever for the color of the flower. I'm going to use this, um, this coaster mold that I have that I don't really use. If you don't have gauge pipes, it's okay. You can use anything, anything that's round. Okay, we're going to be using this uh, gauge wire, 26 gauge and 30 gauge. Okay, you're going to need some kind of wire cutters and some kind of pliers I guess pinchers 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 not pliers okay all right so let's get started let's go large and extravagant you're gonna want to make six of these and this green one is 50 millimeters we're gonna twist it uh usually I twist like three times but since this one's big and it's really difficult to get really close to the edge and get it really tight like a tight twist um, I'm just gonna twist it until I feel like it's tight enough to make a nice um, round circle so what's that like okay I feel like I could go a little bit more six times what I mean is um, the reason why I did it like that was because if this is really loose and wonky, then it could affect your petals later from like losing shape. So I do want it to be really tight. Okay, so here's six of these, this bottom part wide and coming up. And then you want to have the little twists and turns. Uh, let's see. I guess this could be my little bend. So now that you've finished all six petals, we're going to take the 30 gauge wire. We're going to need the pinchers here to take it and twist it around the bottom. Line up your wire to the dips that you have. Leave about an inch excess and you're going to want to twist it with the pliers. Oh my God. Twist it. You want to make it as tight as possible. Tight as possible. Three times should suffice. So you're going to make these little springs I guess you say these twists as close as possible to each other and before we cut it we're going to bring it down this is where you're going to cut it if you have one of these you can sort of flatten this out okay but you do want these springs to be as close as possible My voice is so quiet because I'm concentrating <laughs> so much <laughs> doing something delicate so I don't feel like I should be screaming. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Okay, do you see how it has like a cup? Because I want the petals to come together like this. So let's create six more. You, can we appreciate how beautiful these petals are? How delicate and beautiful they are? Like seriously. Okay, anyways, <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to start by dipping, trying to avoid the bubbles that's in here already. There's some small bubbles and I'm going to avoid them by going to the side, dipping the whole thing in there, pulling it out slowly, letting it drip. I don't know if you guys can see. Maybe I should do this from the side. Okay, there we go. You guys can see.
gonna wipe this off a little bit. Even the strings are like webs. So the technique for these delicate flowers, of course, is that you don't have much excess. So the less excess that you have, the thinner, the thinner this dip resin is the better basically okay so i'm gonna stick that in this foam here over here and let that dry let's go to the next one i'm gonna avoid the bubbles e there's even a couple of small bubbles on there try my best to avoid any of the bubbles be careful when lifting it up I'm not sure what you're supposed to do when you got bubbles in here. Do you have to wait? <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'm new at this, too. So that's why my motto is, if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> so let's dip this. Pull it out fast, then. Oh, pull it out fast, guys. Okay. That's the technique. You're supposed to pull it out. Was I in the way all this time? <laughs> technique is to pull it out fast. Okay, so we're while we're waiting for those to dry, I'm going to go ahead and make the stamen UV resin. Mix this. Um, this is the Just For You Online UK Floating Gold. I love this product. It's... The gold is just so rich. I only needed like like a, a quarter of this. Cut a whole bunch of pieces about a couple centimeters long, maybe like a, an inch, um, and then twist them all at the bottom. And then we're gonna spread them out like so. I'm gonna dip this in here. Can you see that? Like the ones that are sticking together. Let's um, pull those apart. Ones that don't have any on there, let's rub some more on there. Under the UV light. Oh, I like how they're like, the little tips are like pointy. Let's start building. I'm going to use this gold. It's like made too much <laughs> to create my base. Let's cure. Now that the petals are all ready, as you can see, um, like I said, professionals are probably able to do them without having any bubbles at all. And there is some thickness in certain places. So that's the one thing about professionals who do this all the time. They know how to do this part like amazingly. However, this is only like third time that I've made these and so I'm getting some bubbles and some thick places like on the edges but I mean they're pretty nice and pretty clear pretty thin I think that the thinner they are the more delicate and beautiful that they look but I'm gonna use this to thicken up these petals a little bit because they are a little bit too delicate I want to add some colors I'm gonna use this micro pearl to have a white flower oh yeah this is good i'm gonna delicately paint these petals i'm not gonna have any kind of like gradation of color on this flower i just want them to be this like pearly white i want it to be really delicate and simple looking so this is how opaque they are it I think that it looks very, very dainty. I found it really difficult to use the metal wires to try to like put them together and then sort of twist them um, because they were moving so much. So I'm going to do just like I did before. I'm going to UV resin everything to this 
stem that we created here and let's start with the ones that look the shortest not just the smallest but the shortest i'm gonna use that gold that we made earlier it's over here to the side because i didn't want it to cure so i'm going to use this i dipped the end i'm going to put this together like so and hold it while i cure it okay let's go to the next one i'm going to decide where it's gonna go go right here that looks good on here put this together like so hold it so what I do is I'm I find where I would like to put it and then I adjust this part so this even though it's sideways it's okay I'm just gonna have it like that gold resin oh my gosh yay <laughs> what do you guys think it came out beautiful look how elegant it looks I love how it's opaque but also transparent at the same time and it looks so dainty because of the thin wires that we used when um you make these veins it's best to use 30 gauge as you can see because it just makes it just elevates everything it makes it look so delicate and fancy and beautiful the thicker the wire i think it makes it look more toy like but when you do it like this you make it look so beautiful and dainty it is amazing see that and so you can set this on any kind of resin project that you have like let's say for example like on a tray or something you can put this and um you can cut this a little shorter the nub here or the stem I guess and then you can set it on something like a tray um, and uh, prop it up so it won't fall over of course but uh, you could do that to add this to any project that you have and if you'd like you can keep the long wires that I had on here and um, you can still put all this together with some UV resin. You could have the stem left. You can wrap it and twist it into a long stem and put, use these as like flowers in a vase as well. And even if you cut it and like, and you have it like this, I mean, you can um, twist and add some really thick wire, probably like a 22 gauge wire um add several of them twist it here and add it as a stem as well i hope you guys enjoy today's tutorial <laughs> and i have learned so much today so on my next tutorial i will share all of those tips as well because you know everything is a learning process right so if you guys have any good tips or tricks please put them in the comments below Okay, thank you, like and subscribe, until next time.